Hello everyone and welcome to this very fun video where we are going to talk about the Starshine Ranch and we are also going to talk about the new American Quarter Horses coming out next week which is a very exciting update. It's a very long awaited update and it's also the first remodel of the Generation 2 Horses which is a very big deal. Uh, and they turned out incredible. Obviously, we, we, we've kind of seen these spoilers uh, for quite some time now. Um, but I haven't had the chance to really talk about them on my YouTube page. Um, so we are going to do that uh, today. So let's get started. Alright, first thing we do before we talk to Josh. Um, look how cute and precious these quarter horses are. And we're going to talk about the Tinker 2 in a second, but they are just, oh, they, ex beyond my expectations is the best way to put it. it granted, they're not, um, in purchasing game yet, uh, about, bleh, forgive me guys, it's very early in the morning, and I'm like barely alive, um, uh, but these horses, uh, are quite something, and I all here's how I judge horses, uh, especially when it comes to generations. This being the first generation two model, um, I always look at the first horse as kind of like a stamp or a seal of how and what to expect from other um, models upcoming. Uh, and if this is what we're getting, who? Uh, you might want to bulk up on star coins, people. I, I, I gotta be honest. I mean, not now, because we're dealing with coronavirus. But, might want to stock up on star coins. Oh, and another thing. While I'm talking about American Quarter Horses and stocking up on things. If you're looking for names, I am going to actually have a name list up on my Instagram. Again, Instagram is always linked in the description if you want to go check it out. Um full list of um, true blue American names for your American Quarter Horses, nicknames, and SSO names. That will be up hopefully when this video goes up. This I pray. Um, fingers crossed. Um, but just look how gorgeous these American Quarter Horses are. I know I'm all over the place. You gotta forgive me guys again early in the morning. But they're just like, ah, pinnacle of perfection. And I don't see how Star Stable can get better than this. But the thing, crazy thing is, they are. I thought they were doing great with Tinkers. I thought that was the standard. And they blew that out of the water. Granted, Tinkers are still top favorite horse ever. And I have to do a video about them soon. Um, probably will. Uh, probably in May. At least I think so. Or maybe, maybe next week. God only does. I'd have to look at my video schedule and that's not what we're doing right now. Also, can we please take a moment to, like, the detail of this driving tack. Don't get me wrong, uh, driving gear was n n I'm not in my, like, top up there dream updates. I don't know how they would implement it into game, but you know, you never know. Um... But this is absolutely just stunning. Like, um, the embroidery work, and it's just, oh, gorgeous. And the wagon, everything, it's perfect. I love it. And Josh also got an up update as well. So we're just gonna turn ourselves around here. I wonder if it does the same, um, cut screen, um, quest. Or, um, for the Starshine Ranch. I think it does. Oh, no, it doesn't. All right, never mind. Um, but it did, did like, a really nice cutscene. All right, let's try this again, shall we? All right. Starshine Ranch. The music's great. I love the sign with, um, obviously, Starshine is the horse on the, uh, um, the sign and the cowboy hat with the horseshoe and this little, uh, Starshine's, um, the, the star symbol from... Um, the Druid runestones, the, you know what I'm talking about, you guys. Um, 
Obviously we have Molly over here. You can do, um, you can look for four animals each day. You'll get 300 XP for your horse. So that's 1200 XP if, if I'm not mistaken. 1200, yeah, I think so, pretty sure. Forgive me guys, again, early in the morning. Um, but we're gonna get off for a second and look at the chickens. The chickens were upgraded and the rooster is gorgeous. Chickens are just too cute for words. I actually used one of the, I think I used one of the white chickens in um, an Easter edit I did on my Instagram. Uh, Cause they, they were just so cute, I couldn't resist. So that's that. The chickens with the new improved coop. Very nice. Now I don't know. No, you can't groom your horse here. Go figure. Um, but they have like a this cute little like hay feeder. Uh so let's go up here. So we're just gonna go around the ranch piece by piece. Um I'm wondering, should I do the races? That's that's a good question. Should I do the races? Uh, but uh, let's do one thing at a time. Um, the Hackamore, um, Hackamores and War Shop, I think that's what it's called. Hackamores and War. That, that's what I thought it was. Um, I guess that's where uh, the new saddles are going to be um, and new tack and everything is going to go. That's just my guess. Um, obviously these will be the sale barn, uh, for the American Horror Horses. So, you know what? Let's do the races just for the heck of it. So why not? Alright, that's pole bending, I mean, barrel race. I ride western. You think I know these things by now, but you know, it's early in the morning. I'm trying to stay alive. All the matters. Yeah, the, the turns are just in insanity. I have to tell you the truth. Continue. That's nice. Oh, uh, the pole mending. Pole mending terrifies me because. If you saw my uh, update video, I didn't do so good. Oh, this is not going to be fun. But we're going to try our best, guys. And pray this works. Oh, dear. I don't like this already. I don't like this already. Okay, we're just going to slow gallop it. Oh, so close. Okay, we're doing good, guys. We're doing Doing fine. Okay. Okay, we we made it. We lived. Hallelujah. Okay. The next one terrifies me. Just gotta try this again. Okay. Kinda weird, but that's alright. Take kinda weird. Alright, so far so good. Probably speaking too soon. That's okay. Doing fine. Doing alright so far. Okay, that wasn't bad at all. Alright, so now, now you've seen me try to survive those races. That was fun. That was lots of fun. But how cute is this arena? And how awesome it is to have like an actual show arena with the lights and the banners of like Selfhoof and the Miscrans, Cantarella, uh, Purple Ponies back there, um, Selfhoof, Jorvik Rangers. And it, it's huge. It's insanely huge compared to um, other arenas. I, I think the only one that's bigger than this one that we have in game currently is Jarvik Arena. Yeah, 
Other than that, um, this is pretty much the biggest arena we have. Second, it's in second place. Um, so obviously we have the trailers over here. There's Josh and his horse, Pearl. Pearl Bust, I think is her name? Yeah. So we're, there's another, um, rant sign up there. Just kind of going around showing you guys everything. Kind of giving my thoughts on it. Um, and I assume this is the Peterson house where, um, Lisa and her father live. Just wild guess. Um, because it looks like a main ranch house. It's very nice, very pretty. And obviously we have a home stable. And of course I moved here. That was just a given. Um, we have... The wagon over here, which I love, because that's literally the color of my house. So it's so funny how my house color scheme ties into the ranch. So another reason for me to move here, pretty much. Um, so we have uh, the dance arena here. We have a cute kitty on the bench over there. And yeah, uh, God, I can't say his name, but you know who I'm talking about. Um, the guy from the circus. I can't pronounce it. Yudris. Yes? Maybe? I don't know. Um, yeah, him. Uh, he is in fancy western wear, which is very nice. Hopefully we will get more western gear. That is my hope. Not just, um, new tack and, um, bridles and whatnot. So we obviously have a vet uh, station here, and you can also use it for role playing, which is awesome. Uh, we have a round pen here, which is great. Again, very pretty. Like it. Great for role plays if that if you're into that. I'm not. Hate to say it, but I'm not. I used to be when I was younger, but not no more. Um. So, let's see, we have different uh, pastures you can use for roleplay. And of course, there are two American Quarter Horses in here. So we have the Flea Bitten Gray. And we have the uh, Grullo, I believe that's how it's pronounced. At least that's how I was told to pronounce it. Don't, 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 don't shoot the messenger. Um, but yeah. They are very cute. I'm very excited for their arrival. I'm not say. I will say, um, the black, uh, the black one and the blue one are obviously my top favorites. Um, as I said before in previous videos, I'm not buying multiple horses at once anymore, just because it's easier on me, because I have a life outside of this now, and um, inside the star stable. And it's just easier on me, and it's less stressful for training-wise. So, and there's a cute, uh, ching a Shinko Teak pony, uh, with a cat and a lady. It's so nice. Um, so we're gonna come around here. And look how cute this flower field is. And you can find them all around Yorvik now, I think. Um, except for, like, Golden Hills Valley, I think. Um, and... They have cute donkeys and sheep, and the donkeys are absolutely adorable. I am with you guys, hoping that donkeys will come into game soon. Ah, uh, that's my hope too, don't worry. I would love this one. I've always liked the, um, the white-coated donkey with, like, darker patches of color. That's just all what I've always liked, and I would definitely get this one in a heartbeat if it was to come out to a star stable, yes. Please bring donkeys to SSO and sheep pets. Sheep pets, absolutely. Of course, we have longhorn cattle, which is very nice to see. Very Western. And that's pretty much it, aside from over here. Oh, hello, cow. Um, no, I'm gonna. Some fancy jump skills here. Um, 
And what's nice about these, these are perfect for all the role players because you can open the stall, you can close the stall. I know a lot, I'm at least the server I'm on, which is Meringue Cloud, uh, the, U, the US server. Um, I've noticed a lot of people using it, which is so great because all a lot of like the stables around Jorvik are occupied. They either have sales horses in it or there are barns where there's already horses in it. Uh, non-playable, playable character horses. So to see um, role players kind of have their own little space is very nice to see. But that's pretty much it for the ranch. I think we covered everything. Oh, we did forget one little detail. One little detail. We have to go this way though. I knew we were forgetting something. I'm like, I were forgetting something. Before we head back up that way to talk uh, about the um, sail barn. We have this cute little uh, fire pit. Um, place where you can tie, technically tie up your horses. Um, and have a fire with your friends. Which is very nice. Nice little bonfire. Very cute. So you're not supposed to go down that way. But I'm trying to... Stop blabbering on and get you guys to this video and get you to um, the next part where we're going to talk about the American Quarter Horses. So yes, obviously this is where they're going. They are going to be for sale. Um, some information I can give you guys. Um, and again, this is confirmed by Star Stable. They've uh, made comments about this uh, already. So I just gotta pull up the post on my phone. Cause so I made a post on this on my Instagram. Now I gotta find it again. So just give me a second. Okay, here it is. So, American Quarter Horse information commonly asked questions. They are, are arriving the 22nd, which means, oh, hello, random person that just flew in front of me. Um, 22nd, which is, uh, next week. Next, uh, the next update. Um, there are four horses in each set instead of three, so we will give, be getting four Quarter Horses. Um, it has been revealed the Blue Roan American Quarter Horse will be in the app not in game you'll have to uh, download the star stable horses app in order to get it um which hopefully will be on april 30th that's their plan but obviously with the coronavirus and apple and google things can change um and samsung and all of the companies it can all change um so hope so fingers crossed april 30th uh for the blue Road american quarter horse um more than likely, they're going to be for sale here. I don't see why they would put them anywhere else. Um, the second set will be available for after four weeks. So it, we will have like four weeks of just other updates aside from horses. Unless Star Stable magically plans to add more magic horses. But we just had a magic horse set, so I doubt it. Um, and each American Quarter Horse is 950 Star Coins, which is more than fair. Absolutely more than fair, considering their animations, which is what we are going to talk about now. We are going, going to go to the actual video. So thank you guys for obviously sticking around for this part. Enjoy the next part of this video where we talk about the American Quarter Horse and the trailer that was just released. Alright you guys, welcome to part 2 of this video, um... Alright guys, now we are going to talk about the trailer, which shows the animations. And we're gonna kinda break it down a bit, but first we're gonna watch it first. Um, let me just make sure that we're on the highest quality possible. Cause that's always important. At least I think so. Oh, I don't want you to start yet. Ah, no. Okay. What? Why do you? All right. So we're gonna watch it first, and then I'm gonna um, turn off the or 
lower the sound and um, kind of give you my thoughts on everything. So we are going to play through and see what we got. We are going to go back and watch it, uh, kind of frame by frame. So this is the, um, oh wait, we can actually slow, slow down, uh, the playback speed. Forgot we, you can do that. So, all right, we have, uh, the Flax and Chestnut Quarter Horse. It's a nice walk. From this angle, it's kind of hard to tell, but it's a nice, just very slow, relaxed walk. Alright, so pause this for a second. We have the Flea Bitten Gray, the Sooty Buck skin, and then the Red Roan um, looking out over there. Uh, both really, all really nice colors. All colors I approve of. Obviously, they are in the field. Outlooking the Apple Grove. All new Western Tack. Which, oh, by the way, um, I did see a post on Facebook and I did share it to my Instagram. Um, that the Tack is not coming with the American Court Horse update. I repeat, the Tack is not coming with the American Court Horse update. It's going to be either... Well, actually, sometime after. I don't know which update it's coming through. Again, I don't work for Star Stable. I don't know when these updates are coming out. And even if I did, I couldn't share them with you guys unless I had permission. So. Just really nice, sweet head animations. Like, nothing too insane. Just really kind eyes. Very sweet. Like, American... Like, if you... Um, ever had an American Quarter Horse or ever ridden one, they tend to be very, very sweet horses. I grew up around them. Uh, my grandmother was a top breeder of American Quarter Horses and Appaloosas in Michigan and New Jersey at one point in her life. Um, so I grew up around these horses. Uh, and the tack is gorgeous, the saddle's gorgeous, the boss, uh, boss is gorgeous. And, yeah, that's what it's called, a bossel. Or, and if I'm butchering it, I'm sorry. Again, it's early in the morning. What are you going to do? Um, and the saddle blanket's very nice. Again, I like the new saddle blankets. Uh, Western saddle blankets. I approve. There's the donkey. Here comes that very nice speedy backup. Even though it's slowed down for this video, obviously. Yes, the American Quarter Horse, a very nice backup indeed. Okay, we're going to pause this for one second. I adore this horse. Um, a lot of people have been saying, uh, which con have been confused on which color this is. I honestly don't know. It could be a splash. It could be a minimal, uh... Rabicano, I think that's the way, it, right way to say it, because um, I was looking up some breed information, and it it goes with the description of a minimal Rabicano, or Rabicano, 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 that's it. Um, right, they have the skunk tail, but no, uh, like, actual, uh, markings. Um, so I, that's what I'm just calling it. Uh, you can call it a splash, you can call it a pinto, whatever you want to call it, up to you. But again, that's just what I'm calling it. Uh, and obviously we have the grulo. Again, don't know if I'm saying it right. Probably, probably not. Maybe I am. I don't know. Again, early in the morning. Uh, new leg wraps. I didn't notice that there. Uh, new leg wraps. 
Uh, so I, I'm assuming we're going to get new leg wraps with this. Obviously, the pants we already have in-game. Um, so obviously there will be a leg wrap set with this. Not just um, the front boots, which we'll probably see in a bit here. And look at that nice trot. That nice, very relaxed, very even, very perfect-tempered, light, easy jog. I love it. Love it. It's great. It's just perfect. Ugh. It looks so nice. It's actually kind of ridiculous. Okay. I will admit, the only thing that I kind of wish they did just teeny tiny bit more. They didn't have to do go crazy with it. Just have the horse tilt just a little bit more when it turns. Just a little bit, not by much. It's not that big of a deal for me, but some someone pointed it out, and I forget who did. Um, another YouTuber mentioned that, and I was like, yeah, they, they could turn just a teeny tiny bit more. Uh, if they turned in just like a centimeter more, perfect. Um, but it doesn't when. Hold on, I'll play through. But when I want to watch it on, in slow mo, it looks stiff. So just a teeny tiny bit more return would make all the difference, I think. And this is having some knowledge in animation. Here is the sliding stop on the Red Roan. Very nice. Very accurate reigning uh, sliding stop. And we have the spin, which is great. And again, new type of uh, boots. I forget what these are called. Um, halters. Very, uh, just all very nice and a very relaxed lope. Uh, that's what we call it in Western. We call it a lope. It just looks so nice. And again, the jumps are very nice too. Quarter horses are great and great in any discipline, including any uh, English events. So I was expecting a very nice and, uh, jump on these horses, and that's what we got. Again, very nice gallop. Everything moves right. Again, if you guys want me to comment about the rider, I won't because they're not updated yet. So from now on, I just ignore the rider. I don't care what the rider is doing. I know the rider isn't updated yet, so it doesn't matter to me at all. Not even the slightest. The only thing I'll go back on is real quick. Okay, go back. Look at this main style. This this is um I know that they actually have like the actual like natural style bleh, style braids that we've had in the past before. Um they have that, and I guess this is one of the special, um, hair, um, main, um, uh, styles you can have. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, had you on. You can have if you choose to do so, uh, which is basically a show braid, which is very, very nice. Uh, to see that they added that in there, not just the normal, uh, Regular braids. So let's go back to where we were. I think we're, we're around here. Alright, so we're back at this. There's the American Core Horses, the Palomino, and look at that rear. That's just such a nice rear. Oh, it's ridiculous. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Everything on this horse is just stunning. And here's the thing. I normally will not. I'm going to let this actually just play through. Um, I normally, truth be told, uh, absolute truth here, I don't like to judge a horse before it comes in game, but this horse has impressed me so much, I already know that I'm going to absolutely love it. I, it's going to be one of my uh, top five horses in game right now. Absolutely. Without a doubt. Um, just because it's a breed that we've wanted to see updated for quite some time, um, 
since uh like the remodels have improved. Um obviously generation two uh models, which is this is um one of the generation two models, um will uh they all eventually will be receiving updates. I think I saw a post somewhere where it's not really going to matter what order it's done in. It's actually going to pretty much matter what the community wants. And aside from the American Quarter Horses, the Paint Horses, the Appaloosas, um, I, the only one I've seen like a lot of is the Shire uh, remake, which would, would be absolutely awesome to see. The Icelandic Horse I've seen a bit of. The Frisian I've seen here and there. Um, but it's mainly like American Quarter Horses, Paint Horses, Appaloosas, and Shires. Now that this does pose the question, uh, if we do get Paint Horses, if we do get Appaloosas, will Star Stable use the same uh, model? I uh, uh, for the American Quarter Horses, and honestly, I think they probably will, just because those three breeds are just so similar in real life. Um, having grown up with them. Uh, they can be very similar. They might add some changes. I might be wrong. But I wouldn't mind if they used the same body structure. Uh, for paint horses and Appaloosas. One mind at all. Um, that they use for quarter horses. Um, just because the breeds are so similar. Uh, in body structure. Um, so that's pretty much it, I think. I've pretty much given you guys all the information I can give, but let me, let's just go over the colors that they have real quick. So let me pause this, stop this, and we'll go over here. So we have the Grulo, we have the Flax and Chestnut over here, we have the Black uh, Rabicano, uh, again, probably butchering the name, but oh well, we have the Palomino, um, the Blue Roan, the Bay, uh, the Red Roan, the flea bitten uh, gray and the city buck skin. Now, it's important to remember, as I said before, we are getting four in each set. And then the blue roan is going to be in the app. Which is uh, kind of what I assumed because I didn't see, when the first trailer came out, I said didn't see the blue roan, so that kind of raised my suspicion um, that it would be in the app. And I was right because it's going to be in the app. Star Stable confirmed it. Um, in a comment. Uh, I can't remember if it was on their Instagram or Facebook or both. Um, but regardless, these horses are just absolutely stunning. And I applaud Star Stable for adding four instead of three. Because I honestly didn't know how they were only going to get away with just three vari variations um, to each set. Which would be a total of six variations in game, one in the app. So technically, we're getting getting um, two extra, I think. If I'm doing the math right in my head, then yes. Um, again, early morning. Gotta forgive me, guys. Um, but one thing I wanted to point out. Look how I did pull a few images up on... Um, but especially this image. Compared to the American Quarter Horses. Granted, this one has a little bit more of a dish face. Um... And this one kind of does too, just a little bit. Um, it, from these photos, it's kind of hard to tell. Um, but you, you gotta admit, that's pretty darn close. It really is. It just truly is. And I think they've done a phenomenal job. And the horses aren't even out in game. And I don't like to give my full opinion until I see them out in game. But it's pretty obvious that they, these uh, American Quarter Horses are spectacular. And that's how everyone should see them. Um, so as always, you guys, uh, that's pretty much it. As always, remember to keep it positive. Happy trails, everyone. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!